Welcome to Out of the Blue 57. <laughs> We're going to talk again today about our friend J. Hewitt McKenzie. Because J. Hewitt McKenzie has this interesting thing and he talks about he say he says he's talking about the spirit world above England. So J. Hewitt McKenzie is in England and he's describing the spirit world above England. And I'm over here in Chicago and so there therefore there's another spirit world over Chicago. Right? And Every place has its own spirit world above it. Right? Whatever. This could be Uzbekistan. And this is the Uzbekistan spirit world. Ah, and so, you want to hold it? Okay, go ahead, hold it. Um, and so, um, and as far as I can tell, J. Hewitt and Mackenzie really claims to be uh, visiting the spirit world. Here I'm toasting, I, uh, I forgot to say, the toast. To legal marijuana. To legalize marijuana in Chicago. Here so I can draw some. There's two things. So the thing about J. Hugh McKenzie is he seems really confident that anybody can do this travel in the spirit world type thing. Or, yeah, nice. Access organized. So, um, to speak about it neo Swedenborgianistically is to essentially say that he is accessing and organizing his mind. And I am saying neo Swedenborgianistically that uh, this is a valuable a valuable organizational system to learn. The organizational system is that there's a spirit world above every town of whatever place, right? But you can also organize it by time as well as space. So that the higher you go... Now this is just an organizational system and of course it could be done other ways also. And this is just one way to organize this. But I'm saying that this is the way that I'm working it. And so basically by going, here's Chicago, up, you're going back in time. So here's Chicago now, here's Chicago an hour ago, and the higher you go, the farther back in time you go. And this is a way to access and organize uh, your mind and all of history. It is, a, it is a basically organizational system for all of the history of Earth. And with this system, one more little thing, you can go to any place. So let's say here's England, and you want to visit England in 1690. You can think about the whole Earth, and you can think about the space above England, and you can go to this little block of time, which is 1690. Or, more specifically, let's say you want to visit in your own life. And you want to go, let's say, my life, I was near New York City. So there's New York City. There's 1970. There's a little day I can visit right there. So by using this organizational system, you can visit any place in world history. So it has its own value without it being mystical whatsoever. Okay, that's it for now. Thanks.